Hi guys, welcome to my workbench again. Well, as you can see, I uh, have that frame done. I uh, drill some holes here, and um, the only thing that I have to do is uh, drill the hole for the potentiometer. Uh, there is only one change in the plan, uh, that is this uh, little mica uh, tuning capacitor instead of a of, a, of an, uh, potentiometer so uh, that's the only thing and what I have done I put in that uh, EC92 and also I will uh, provide myself with a uh, rectifying uh, valve and that's the EC41 uh, as a rim block uh, socket yeah, you can have, can have approximately 40, 50 milliamps and this way little radio will not draw more than that. The only thing we have to uh, take into account the, the current what uh, the, the filaments uh, draw. So, but in this uh, transformer there is plenty of room, you can see that in this, to put uh, a, th a thicker wire in there, so it's a 19 wire. That will give you up to 2 amps and that will suffice for the 6.3 uh, volts for the filaments. Anyway guys, what we need to do next is uh, put the sockets in. So let's, let's start that and uh, see how I've this later. I've put some markers on there how uh, the sockets have to go in. So this actually uh, from uh, the space in the socket. So I put that in the right place that way. Some little balls in there. There you go. Put some little nuts on top of it. See what happens. Well, it's going to take a little while because this video probably will be probably a bit longer because of this. Depending on <laughs> getting that nut on in place. There it goes. Um, well, I'll tell you something guys, I put some thoughts in this to uh, well, get this right, you know, it's important that it is right, so uh, anyway if you want to follow along, so I would recommend you uh, watch the whole video, there could be some changes. But so uh, I will tell you those hopefully on time. Uh, well, I will, well, I'll tell you what. What you should do, you should uh, always uh, wait for the next video. So you look for the first video, second video, third video, and uh, from then on, I think we have some changes. So. You should uh, watch, wait until the fourth video is there, then watch that fourth video and before you start to install everything, make it a mistake, well you would make any mistake because of that. See I put also front on there so that I must, don't make a mistake myself. So uh, this is the one for the, for the ECL, I have a marker here, so this opening from the socket goes on this side. So let's make, I just make sure everything goes into the right place. All right. It has to do how you're going to fit uh, the parts underneath, you know, and so on and so on. When we, when we get along in the videos, you will find out for yourself that if you have to take some things into account to, uh, to get it right. Okay. There we go. See, I missed. Okay, it will be okay. And they've missed two little bolts. I didn't take them out of there, but again, I will do that for the little time. I decided to uh, to put uh, the output transformer on top instead of uh, uh, underneath. It is possible, but there again, I get into trouble with my ECL uh, 82. So uh, then I don't have. Uh, the room to, uh, to uh, 
and if I put them here, if we put the in the way, you can see that it will be here, and it will be in the way of, the, of this. And you can put you know uh, uh, VR there or here in front of it, so that the uh, transformer will be in the way. Okay. Now this is a rimlock socket. It has no uh, sleeve on there as this one, so you have no. There's a marker on this. Raads maken aan aan dit valf hier aan top. En dit is niet daar. En je hebt die look look very close. Er is een little dent in daar. Wat dat wat dat maken represents. Zo dat je hebt die poort staat. Zie. Ah, everything will be alright. No problem. So you have to put the marker there as well. So we put that marker in front of there. So we have it in the right place. This has all, has all to do with uh, the connections. Okay. And then we have to our sockets in place. Go on then. There we go. My transformer, I didn't uh, wind that transformer yet. So, <laughs> I didn't do that yet. So, it has to wait. I think I will, will wait until the last bit of that. Oops. So no problem there either. So um, I have to do it by hand anyway. So uh, my winding machine won't take uh, 19 more. So uh, I have to do it by hand. That's I think will be approximately I think around 60. It depends on the windings per or turns per volt. I have to uh, work it out again. Well, I can do that on the computer, so that's quite easy. And then. Uh, Let's put that in. There we go. Now, there we go. Uh, let's put our transformer in first. Our Apple transformer. Okay. Get him in. But make sure we have made a hole there. So if I put him in here, that way, so all the wires can go in there to uh, the socket from uh, the valve. On top of that, I have some washers here. Because uh, there's uh, little bolts uh, go into the holes, and then you don't uh, you get it, you get the bolts straight. So um, I put that on top here. See, so I get myself some some small bolts. So look here. Get some nuts first. A little, little, little. I have to go to the. Come with the Hardware market to uh, to get some more of those things. It starts to start to go down again. So you get a certain point, and you'll have no uh, supply anymore. So then you have to make sure you have supply. Okay. Let's put this this way. Get them. Oh, sorry, you can't see it. Put that little knot there. Come on then. So, get the other one in here. Use my washer, of course. There you go. It will be then nice and straight. Otherwise, it looks crooked and it doesn't look nice. I try to build it as nice as possible. So, there you go. He does not want to get in, so I'll do it again. There we go. Get my screwdriver and tighten it up. Indication front is nearly gone already because I'm off by my, uh, my fingers or whatever. So there you go, that's, that's the first part. Now we have to have our reception coil for two bands. You can see I put on the bottom, I put some more wire for the antenna. And I have a little, 
Oh, how do you call this in English? I don't know really. It's just, uh, it's just the same as a bolt, only it's only a uh, thread on there. And I put that on, on the bottom, and I've, I'll show you. Put that through in the bottom here, little hole. And then, that's out. And then we put this. Uh, uh, hold on. This, okay, this, this one here. This is. Uh, here, they stay together. Let's have a look. This one goes down. Have to put them in here. Preferably with our uh, bolt in there. There we go. Yeah. Well, you will ask what will that uh, influence uh, the tuning of the coral. I probably will to a certain extent. Okay, hold on. That doesn't work that way. Careful that it doesn't end up on the floor. Put a bit uh, of insulation material on top of that. The influence of that little bolt won't, won't be that much, really. Um, because you, you won't have any trouble t uh, with tuning or whatever. Just uh, to keep this in place. Alright. So, like I said, you put that uh, firmly onto on the chassis. Just put the push it into place. And there we go. Down to this little nut. And there you go. Don't you have to uh, go onto the, onto the chassis here. There has to be a little bolt in there. The real have to see. To uh, ground it. Put that to ground us too. This one is going to as the antenna goes on top of this hole. There we go. Let's tighten this knot up a bit. Just keeps keep it into place. And there you go guys. That's it already for this part of this video. And then it's done. Well, I'll keep the video as small as possible. It's easier also to uh, look back if you want to know something or something like that. Well, we put the valves in, but if perhaps that is a nice idea to put them in so you can see how it's going to look. Okay, it's always nice to see that. And then we have here to uh, put the front of, uh, of, our, uh, of our radio. The, that has to be done as well. So there you go. See, look at the little notch in there. Put them down there. Come on then. There you go. Put the little one in. There you go, guys. Doesn't it look that nice? Doesn't that look nice? See. Eh? Well, then we have our front part. There's next next to do. This front part, you have to uh, cut a piece off there, and then uh, determine where that uh, all the, the things are going to go. So uh, I'll show you. That are two potentiometers. Two potentiometers. What I go in there? They're not the right potentiometers I have here. I have to uh, get them. Anyway, just as, as, as an example. Then we have our. Uh, Articular, this is articular. That has to come out somewhere. Perhaps I put it back, as I said, extend the axle. You always can better extend the axle in to get the parts as close as possible to the valve. Always better. Never, never to attempt to, to put, if it has to go here, the axle comes out here. But make sure that uh, uh, capacitor is on the way back on with the valve. So you uh, Reduce all influences or capacitances or whatever. Reduce that. So it is very important to you uh, bear that in mind. 
The same goes for our volume control. Make sure that it's as close as possible with the valve. In this case, yes, you could do that. You can put it now if you put it underneath. You can put in an see what I mean? You put them here and I get a little extension. And that, that uh, uh, VR is as close as possible where you want it. Very important. Uh, it reduces hum and everything. So uh, also uh, some uh, influences or whatever that can occur. And you don't have that to have. Anyway, what you have to do now next is to make the front part. Get those uh, get tuning capacitor, the switch here. Get them into place. Yeah. And then uh, uh, when we have that in there, we start to work on... Uh, Connecting up to uh, the valve to make sure we have also the wire capacitance in there, and then we start to work out uh, what kind of um, capacitors, uh, MP0 capacitors, we need to uh, get us enough band spread for uh, our, our bands, uh, the 80 meters and the 40 meter. So we uh, don't have to. We will turn 80, 180 degrees. We will do that. But in fact, because of those capacitors, you are only tuning uh, three or four picofarads. So <laughs> that's that's the advantage of it. So you spread that, and then you have a very very um, uh, nice way of tuning your radio. Okay. Um, well, uh, we put our uh, transformer there then. Okay, and our speaker will be here somewhere. I don't know. I have to work that out still. Uh, obviously, it will be on this side somewhere. Yeah, okay. And then we uh, uh, connect our VRs up. I have to drill holes here to for the to get those holes. And I'll have to see, I have to, uh, see how, well, how it works out. And we have, of course, I have to drill a hole with for uh, our antenna uh, connection. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and this is, have a look, have, have a look, where we are, I'm uh, working on the schematic as well, uh, I don't have that ready, yet, uh, that will be on my computer, uh, we'll have a look which part we are, well, there are so many things here, I don't, we, oh sorry about that, uh, I don't remember anymore, uh, my memory is not what it was, um, since we're 72 years old. In a, couple, in a couple of months I will be 73, so my memory uh, suffers because of my age. Anyway, we are at uh, look, part 5. So uh, if you liked the video, uh, give me a thumbs up. And uh, I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.